Yes, thanks for, thanks for joining me. Probably a good place to start is last weekend, one nil win over Leicester. I'm guessing the whole team really pleased with that. Yeah, I think it was a tough performance. Um, I don't think we played the best football, but we um, got the win, which was important. I think game management as well, we managed, and obviously a clean sheet was good to start, yeah. yeah. And good preparation for the FA Cup semi-final, or, or is it sort of a completely different game, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter, I guess? No, I think um, playing Leicester has always been a hard game. And you can see from um, the game on Sunday. And I think we can take a lot of positives into the next game and then just build from there. And it was obviously a really lovely, lovely goal. Um, a very Tottenham goal, especially under Robert. Was the whole team really pleased with that? Yeah, something we've been practising on um, counter-attacks on corners or just counter-attacks in general. So for it to actually pay off when we get a goal, it was nice to see how quickly it was as well. And I watched the back, it was, yeah, it was good to see. Yeah, yeah, there's been a few goals like that this season, isn't there? I mean, the Arsenal one is kind of the standout. It was like, I guess, when you try that in training and you're getting the rewards in the game, it must be such a pleasing people. Yeah, especially, um, yeah, it's when we're working on training and it pays off, it's just like the best feeling. And um, going back to the Arsenal game, there was a little bit of talk actually about Robert's style of football and especially that goal. And um, I don't know if you know, the men's team, it's called Ange, or after after Ange. There was a little bit of talk in terms of the media and fans about what Roberts football should be called. Uh, I don't know if that's kind of filled into the into the women's team, but the the sort of the ones we spoke about was um, was Robert Ball, uh, Bob Ball, and was another one. It was Villa Handball. So I was wondering if that had kind of got into the squad. That there was a bit, a bit of chat about that. No, yeah, we haven't spoke about that to be fair. But um, and Robert did come in. He said that we're trying to link like Tottenham a uh, whole as one yeah. so the football we try to play will mimic the men's so yeah yeah I mean that brings me nicely to Robert I mean you know it seems like yourself and the whole squad have, have really enjoyed working with the season and the, and the results have been there you know, pretty much from the beginning as well yeah I think from the start you said it always wants to play attacking football attractive football so um, you can see how we play out from the back with so much confidence comfortable and in the freedom up top, I think we're still trying to gel and get there, but you can see a glimpse of it. So hopefully we just go up, up from there. Yeah, I mean it was obviously a difficult um, previous season coming into this one, and Robert I guess wasn't a, a huge name in England. He'd obviously done well in Sweden, but when he did come in, what was kind of you know did he kind of immediately try and sell his philosophy, or did he kind of wait and show you guys on the training ground actually what what he wanted to do? Um, I think we've always had a philosophy the Tottenham way. Mm. And I think he really tried to like bring that back in, um, focus on that. And then, yeah, the first couple of training sessions, it showed that he, he wants to do that. And then the freedom is given the players. I think everyone is enjoying it. Yeah. Was there kind of a um, maybe a moment in training or, or in a game when it felt like the squad sort of really got to grips with, with his style? I guess, obviously, you were trying to do it to begin with. Was there, was there sort of a moment where everyone felt like, actually, yeah, we, you know, we can do this and we you know, just try and do it more consistently. I think uh, if I could pick a moment, probably be pre-season. I think the games, the way we built, I think we didn't get the results we wanted, but the football was playing. And it's like, if you put yourself in their positions, the goals will come. So mm. I think from pre-season, we kind of felt like if we kept them performances, the goals will come. And it's shown in some games. And I'm guessing the, the opening day, you know, Dortmund, in, Dortmund in opening day, you go into Chelsea and you stand the bridge as well, you know, obviously WSL champions and felt like that day I suppose really went toe to toe with Chelsea, which you know maybe hadn't been the case for the, the previous season. I'm guessing that was a, a big confidence to, to to kick on from. Yeah, I think it was a big game to go into, so it was just the perfect way to showcase the new Tottenham, the philosophy, the way you want to play. And uh, we actually went head to head with them throughout the game, so it was good to see just the fine margins, you know. Yeah. And and I guess sort of look at this season overall, you know. Been a really, really encouraging season. Obviously, got your win over Arsenal in December, FA Cup semi finals as well. Um, you know, how pleased uh, as a squad are you with, with how the season has gone so far? Yeah, I think at the start of the season, we started off really, really well and then we've had glimpses up and downs, but you can see that um, we've stuck together. You can see that we're grinding out results. Um, we're playing football from minute one to minute 90, which is, I think, one thing that we We've come together as a team and we've stuck to so I think the game plan we never change mm. um, and if we need to we know the plan plan B plan C and it's worked for us yeah and you know as I say got this FA Cup semi-final coming up and one game away from Wembley um, it's quite striking actually before the uh, 
Sheffield United game, we had to make up Robert sort of said in his press conference that you know, we really want to go and go for Wembley this season. I, I believe we can do it. Um, which you don't always hear from, from a manager, you know, and, and especially, I guess, in the WSL, given you know, how strong the top three are. Does that kind of show how much belief he has in, in, in the whole squad? Yeah, exactly. And the cup game is like a magical game. Without, you know, the cup is always a magical cup um, and anything can happen. So I think them games is really like you go through, we go, go all out and it's gone our way, you know. So, yes, yeah, nice to see. And, and did he kind of try and translate that message to the squad as well? That, you know, you, we all should believe that we can get to when we can see that we really can do it. Sort of from the, from the start of this job. Yeah, yeah. Robert and Vicky as well. Vicky really... She put up a board of, like, the bus and the journey we've taken and and that, you know, there's fine margins, set plays, everything plays a big part. So I think you could see that we're scoring an open play, but set plays, everything counts. So we've just been trying to get them fine margins together. Yeah, and I'm guessing that kind of confidence from Robert and, and Vicky must be so kind of refreshing for all the new players and the squad to know that they really believe he, you, know, you can achieve something, which obviously Tottenham have never achieved so far. Yeah, relieve some pressure on us, you know. We don't go into games scared. We know our game plan. We know that we're all together as one. And we know the quality we have in the team, on the bench, um, the starting eleven. And yeah, it's, it's, it's shown this season. And uh, I guess you talk, talk about going into games and not being scared. I guess that was really crucial against Man City, given the sort of the recent months and, and the recent results against them. Obviously, a lot of people on the outside were for us. You know, not in their draw, but actually you went into it and... And it, you know, looks like that was the best performance that she had in, you know, in all four against City as well. Yeah, you can see um, at the start of the season, we tried to hone in little things. So at the start, it was all about the press and then learning how to play in the mid-block. So the first time we played them, we obviously got battered, but then we took learning points from then, how to play in the mid-block and count on. And then it was a tight game, the one all that we just knew was the fine margins. And yeah, it was just a perfect game all round, got into extra time and then winning on pens. And um, I'm guessing, you know, especially with sort of the way it all unfolded, you know, Beckham scoring at the end and the Beckham show um, must have been such a special occasion. And, and sort of the occasions, I guess, that really tie, sort of get the whole group together and sort of show them actually this is this is what we're capable of doing. Yeah, I remember I was on the bench and I was just thinking, like, I wasn't nervous, even though it was 1 0 down. I just, like, the belief we have in the team, we just keep going fight, fighting to the end. And then when we scored to equalise, I thought, yeah. This, this is ours now. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I mean, how much are you looking forward to the, the semi final with Leicester? I'm obviously, I'm sure you won't want to underestimate them, but at the same time, you'll, you'll believe in yourselves that, that you can do it, you can beat them. Yes, one more step to the final. So playing at the stadium will be great in front of the fans, um, give us another another source of energy to go out there and play football and hopefully win the game. Yeah, I was, I was going to say that, you know, the playing at some point, so it seems to make a huge difference against Arsenal. I know it's the West Ham game at the end of the season, but is, is that the sort of feeling in the squad that you know, can hopefully make the difference on, on, on that match today? Yeah, it's a great pitch and I think a great pitch for us to play football on, uh, the football we want to play, so I think it'll be a great occasion. And do you sort of allow yourself to dream about Wembley yet or is it kind of a, a mixture of getting excited and also sort of staying level-headed? Can you got steps on the journey still to, still to take? Yeah, I think it's a bit of both, obviously, it looks... So it wasn't to get through, but at the same time, you know, we've got to win the game to get to the final. So um, the excitement was there when we got through, but then we've got to hone down and make sure we just turn up on the day. And in terms of yourself, uh, I believe you've now made the um, whole squad the most appearances um, this season under Robert 24. Uh, I think Celine's got 23. You know, do you really feel that trust that he has, he, he has in you? Yeah, definitely. I think I've been working behind the scenes. Um, put my head down in training, obviously playing new roles as the nine out wide. So, yeah, it's been good just to utilise my strengths in different positions, so it's been good. And I believe you're getting very close to 100 appearances as well. So, how proud does that make you feel to know you're very close to, uh, to joining some of your teammates and you've reached three figures for as well? Yeah, it's been a long road um, with ups and downs injuries. But yeah, really, really proud to um, represent in the club and obviously Close to 100 appearances, so it'll be good. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned injuries. I mean, I'm sure you would have already reached it and not with the, you know, the ACL and the MCL. Um, just sort of take you back to that a little bit. You know, how difficult was that at the time? Um, it feels like 
probably feels like a long time ago now, yeah. but um, I'm guessing then yeah, those sort of emotions are, are still very much there. Yeah, it was hard, hard to take because um, I've um, just come back uh, from the under-19 Euro, so I was on a high, I was out in pre-season, just got promoted, so like, it was like a dream come true, everything, and then it just kind of came, kind of came like crashing down. But um, it was a good time, I think, to work on myself as a player. Um, the support I got was great from Spurs, family, friends. I think that's really, that got me through it. The players here were great as well, so just the support all round. Um, it was a long, long recovery, but um, the belief I had, staff helping me through everything, so it was good. And uh, I mean, that was sort of 2019. It feels like ACL when you unfortunately uh, always in the news at the minute, so with the women's game as well. You know, did it kind of, did you almost feel like you were one of the only people in the women's game at that time going through them, whereas now it feels like it's, it's really, really common? Yeah, at the time I didn't even know what ACLs, MCLs were until I did it. Um, and then I felt like every week when I checked on my phone, someone had done it. So um, I think we tried, kind of trying to implement stuff to help with it. You know, there's rehab is really important, getting strong in the gym, robustness, because the game's just getting quicker and faster. So we need to learn and get quicker to adapt to things. But I think overall we've done really well. Um, I think... ACLs is really hard because some, sometimes it can be non-contact. So, yeah, but I think if we put ourselves in the best position, then that's that's all we can do. Yeah, I was going to say, do you, have you kind of been involved in any, any studies or what you sort of definitely feel like having seen, you know, I think some of your teammates have gone through recently as well, that there's been a huge sort of progress actually since since you did it yourself in 2019? Yeah, I think there's a lot of research still going into it to find out different things. But I think as players, what we can control um, is what we're trying to do, which is trying to get better as players. And I know you was, um, you were still a teenager when, when you did your ACL, but as you say, you didn't, didn't really know about it. Did, was there any kind of fears actually, you know, this, this could be it, my, my career could actually be over? Um, when I heard it was a year out, I was like, and I had to have surgery, that was quite like scary for me because mm. I'd never broken a bone or anything. So I'd, my first surgery ever, but, um, I think the physios really helped me, it reassured me. Um, went to the best um, surgeons and kind of helped me settle my nerves through that. Yeah, and I think you sort of mentioned as well the kind of support that you've had with Spurs. I'm guessing when, I think it was December 2020 when you come back, it must have been such a sort of relief to actually step back on the football field and feel like a footballer again, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think I was quite lucky at the time because they just lifted the restrictions, so some fans were allowed at the game. So luckily my parents and my mum and dad were able to see me step onto the pitch. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a great feeling to get back onto the pitch. And as I said, you know, three years on from that now, and you know, playing you know, regularly for Spurs, like regular for England for three years. So if you kind of feel like you're sort of getting you know, even back to your best, so actually you feel like you're playing the, the best football of your career at the moment. Yeah, I think I've been slowly just ticking away, trying to get better. Um, there's been ups and downs along the way still with injuries, but I think like this season I've been in a really good place. Um, injury free good. But yeah, just been building. We really feel confident, which is the best place um, for me. When I feel confident, I play my best. And uh, you know, you're still young now, so is it, I guess as a footballer and maybe even more so in this game, is is it important to sort of understand your body as well? And do you feel like you're coming back at that stage now where you sort of know actually, oh, if, if I push that too much, then that could, that could sort of be a big setback and when to sort of take a step back and, and when to really push yourself as well? Yeah, I think definitely I'm working with um, physios, psychologists, everything, trying to get my diet better. Um, recovery is a big thing as well. So I think all in all, I've... Um, them little things, them one percent, I think has helped me get into a good position where I can last 90 minutes, play multiple games without getting injuries. So, yeah. And you mentioned as well about sort of different positions you're playing. Um, you've also got yeah, just plenty of brilliant teammates. How much are you sort of learn off people like Martha Thomas, Bethany England, you know, brilliant goal scorers? And, and I'm guessing that's the sort of the path that you, that you want to go down as well. Yeah, the out and out strikers, um, winners mentality they have um so yeah definitely be learning from them different positions off the ball on the ball um and yeah the quality they, they can possess and you can see the quality they can show scoring goals for us so yeah, it's been great 
And I was going to say, is that kind of, as an outlet forward, is that sort of long term where, where you kind of think that that'll be your position rather than kind of being a tenant being a kind of word as well? I don't know. I think I, I enjoy both, you know, so I think for me, the trickery to go out wide and cross and then being in the box in behind. Yeah, I think all in all, to be fair, playing football is what I want to do. So any position up um, in the forward row will be fun for me. And um, obviously Bethany and Mark are both you know, season, season pros who have played in that league as well. Um, is, is that something that is is a big dream and you know, has always been a dream for you to sort of kick in and try and represent England and senior team? Yeah, definitely. I think... Um, Going through the age groups from under 15s all the way through to 23s. Um, yeah, it'll be a great honour to um, one day represent the seniors. And I'm guessing to, to get there, you yeah, want to improve. I think you got three assists this season. I think four goals is, is that kind of goal scoring. Is that the area where you, you feel like there is there's definitely growth for your game? Yeah, I think forward just being consistent. And I think that comes with game time, confidence. So I think just building on that and then. Yeah, that will come. Yeah. And, and I mean, you've, as I say, you've been a regular with that under 23. Is that how much have you enjoyed that going away with England? Uh, I think there's games coming up as well. Yeah, it's been good. Um, tough opponents, so learning to play against different opponents. But yeah, it's always good to go out there, play for your country. And yeah, it's been some good games, got some goals and assists, so yeah, it's been good. And uh, I'm guessing when you see someone like Gregus playing for Spurs and then getting that, getting that call up to the to the senior score, that's kind of extra sort of motivation and a boost as well to sort of know when your teammates has, has done it for Spurs and that's got them an opportunity at senior level and, and that gives you that belief that you, know, you can achieve that. Yeah, exactly. You can see them. there's a pathway clearly. Um, even last camp, being in the same facility with the seniors, get to train with them. So, yeah, I think just keep pushing. Hopefully it comes. Yeah. And, you know, as, as it's all mentioned, you know, you are still young but achieved a lot. You know. I had Spurs into the WSL quite, quite a long time ago now, but did manage that and you know, approaching 100 appearances, yeah, under 23 regular. Do you, um, do you become allow yourself an opportunity to sort of think about the journey that you actually where you are? So, yeah, I think my brothers actually remind me a lot about that. I think. When you're playing football, when you're in it, you don't really think about it. Um, so, yeah, when, at the end of the season, when I have little breaks, we sit down, we reflect and stuff. So, yeah, it's good. Yes, yeah, it's, it's mad to see, like, what you've achieved on the way. And, um, yeah, we just keep grounding and keep going. Yeah, I mean, how important has family been on, on this journey? You sort of mentioned them, obviously. But I'm guessing mainly it's, it's sort of the lows, it's when they really, really come in. But, you know, how key have they, you know, all your family been on this journey to this point now? Yeah, support me every single every single way. Mum, dad, brothers especially because they play, so they kind of get the feeling and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think I'm such a family person, so just to have them around and support is what's kept me going. So yeah, grateful for that. Yeah, and um, I think it was it was Spurs that gave you sort of a big break when when you was much younger, and, and then you left and went went out. But what, what age was it when you actually first sort of joined Spurs? Is sort of uh, I joined when I was eight. Um, when I left about uh, when I was 12, 13, went to Arsenal, went through the academy up to first team and then joined Spurs back when I was 16, 17. Yeah. So it's been a, been a crazy journey. I mean, when you think of the Spurs that you joined as, as an eight year old, uh, and then even, I guess, the Spurs that you joined when you were sort of 16, how much has this club changed since, since that time? Yeah, I remember uh, when I was eight, our shorts are like, up to our fitting, uh, ankles. Yeah. We had to tuck in our, our shirts because they were so big and like the change. Just playing on bobbly pitches. Um, yeah, it was grassroots at the time as well. So to see the growth um, when I came back, yeah. playing first team, even then we were still part time. And then, yeah, I think the promotion is what really got us up there. And I think like the facilities we're training now, support we have, nutritionists, everything. But like, quite blessed to have everything, you know. So. I'm guessing these training pictures are a bit different to those ones that they used to train on as a eight nine eight, eight nine girls. Yeah, when I was eight now, I used to train in like the school school playground, sometimes uh, sand pitches. So yeah, it's a big difference now. And um, you know, and I guess you know, you, I think you signed a new deal last last year as well, didn't you? So 
for the next couple of years. I mean, how how excited are you about what this club can achieve over over the coming years with, with everything that's sort of slowly and surely been, been put in place for the women's team? Yeah, you can see there's definitely a plan. We want to be successful, and the plans that they're putting in place, facilities, everything, playing at the stadium more regularly. You can see that there's definitely growth, and it's definitely a place to be at. And and does it kind of feel like you know not overnight, but Tottenham can break into that top three? You know, we've been Arsenal this season, you know, Ben City and Penalties, and push Chelsea close at, at the start of the season. Does it feel like the the team's made big steps to to break into that kind of. I guess historically that, that top three of the WSL. Yeah, definitely we're taking steps there and I think we've still got many steps to go but you can see that we're going in the right direction if we keep doing what we're doing I think we'll definitely get there. And what can Spurs achieve this season is is an FA Cup win a possibility that is that what the squad believe believe they can do? Yeah, I think I think we've got the we've got the quality to, to win a trophy this season, so I think the FA Cup will be a great great way to start and then we just grow from the league table and just keep going getting up there and uh, I guess just finally for me you know hopefully get through Leicester and then Wembley's Wembley's there and, and if not with Tottenham then hopefully with England is, is that sort of playing at Wembley a uh, kind of a childhood dream that you're sort of desperate desperate to achieve yeah when you're younger going to FA Cup games and watching England play it's definitely a dream dream place to play home crowd you know so yeah, it'll be great to play them one day